The study found that disrupting circadian rhythm, the body's internal clock, can affect how fast a wound heals. Scientists discovered that skin cells in mice move faster to repair a wound in the daytime. Once a wound is made, you know, you start to bleed. And as a part of that process, a clot forms. There are certain chemicals that are released and then a certain types of cells are attracted to the wound. How are you today? Terry Quigley is a wound specialist at UW Medicine in Seattle. He thinks it makes sense that we heal faster when our bodies are awake. If the initial stages of wound healing are very important to the entire process of healing a wound, then it makes sense that you're going to heal faster if you get a wound at 2 p.m. in the afternoon versus 2 a.m. if that initial process is much quicker. A daytime wound may heal faster, but there are other factors that affect wound healing. So a wound in a, uh, uh, an infant or a toddler is going to heal in days, whereas the exact same wound in somebody who's 80 may take three weeks. Keeping a wound clean of infection also speeds healing. So does oxygen, which is why hyperbaric chambers can help chronic wounds. But other factors can slow wound healing. We see other patients who've had radiation therapy and wounds in the radiation field heal very slowly. Um, and then we have uh, patients with uh, exotic diseases, connective tissue disorders, who have wounds that heal very slowly. From the UW Medicine Newsroom in Seattle, this is Brian Donahue.